Hey everybody, this is the Loser Jensen here. I'm playing Final Fantasy Time Zero today. This is the first dungeon that you come across that we're playing. Um, uh, as we're going through here, i am kind of leveled up my characters. Um, so I'm just showing you a quick run through. It shouldn't take too long on this one. I kind of messed up when I was uh, starting to pick, uh, form my team and stuff. I accidentally clicked on um, accept help from um, other squads and didn't mean to, I just wanted to use my, my one, three of my characters, uh, but it really didn't slow me down at all. So, uh, Final Fantasy Top, tier, top Zero is pretty good, um, I've enjoyed it so far. Um, the combat system is pretty, e is, uh, pretty easy to get a hold of, um, kind of reminds me of Kingdom Hearts in a way. Um, so, here you see how A is just like a beast at this level anyways, plus this Everyone here is super low level, and my character's kind of high. Um, I like 8 because he is pretty fast, so this dungeon seriously took me about um, 5 minutes to complete. So, yeah, it's pretty short once you are um, got a higher level. When I first did it, you know, everybody was like really low level, and uh, it took a while. It took a little bit to complete, plus I didn't know what I was doing because it's the first thing you play. As soon as the game starts... You have like 20 to 30, maybe 40 minutes of cutscenes, and then you have this dungeon that you're running through. Um, and you, you just get thrown in there. You have no idea what you're doing. It gives you little pointers up there, a little mog up there gives you pointers on what to do and stuff. Um, and what you do here, you harvest... Uh, Phantasma, I think. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a long day at work, guys. So, uh... But, yeah. And then, if you beat the leader, you can go and the, his, men, his men will surrender and you can get items from them, which is pretty cool. You can get some, like, first aid kits or some rations or whatever and that'll give you health. And you can equip your little health items so you can just do a, a quick button to replenish your health or use an, uh, an ether and replenish your MP. Or you can just go to the menu screen and um, I thought he was a uh, oh, he's a bad guy, so I was gonna punch him. Anyways, you can um, go just go to your menu and use your items however you want to. Um, here I'm kind of getting kind of getting shot, gonna get my butt kicked, but I was like, eh, whatever. They can't kill me. I'm got too much HP for their bullets to really kill me. I actually kind of go up and attack these uh, turrets like head on and destroy them. So. Um, but yeah, so far it's a pretty cool game. Uh, I recommend going, picking it up, trying it out for yourselves. And if you're into Final Fantasy, um, kind of ruin the story for myself, but I won't ruin it for you guys. Don't worry. I was looking up because someone had told me that uh, it could possibly be a um, a prequel to Final Fantasy 13, which what I read it's um, it could be, but it would be like a thousand years in the past. Um, but as I was reading that, I kind of ruined the whole story for myself, and I wished I hadn't. So, oh well, what can you do? So as we go through here, we're running to the main boss. Um, there's these guys on a the ledge there, and I really don't have any magic that will shoot up. I have a, bl a blizzard magic, but it's more of an AoE attack and not a ranged attack. And since he throws punches, I really don't have a ranged attack at all. So I just kind of run, I'm trying to run up the steps and it didn't work, um, so I'm like, meh, I'm going to heal myself real fast, take the heal, and let's get out of this place. And they're still trying to shoot me, and I'm like, meh, you can't catch me. So, you, know, you go around here, oh, there's the leader of the guys, and just like, he keeps jumping back, so I'm like, boom, <laughs> blizzard AoE, and he just kind of dies, and you know, harvest his phantasma or whatever. And we take off. And if I'm correct, I think this is the f where this next next screen should be the final boss. So we go through here, and I got kind of stuck because one of those little SP characters decided to change in with one of my characters, and I was like, really? So here's the final boss. It's just a big mech. You run up and just start wailing on him, throwing attacks. Um, if you start out playing this game, if when, when you start out, you know you kind of want to run around and dodge his attacks. You don't want to take any of his attacks head on because they're pretty strong and they will pack a punch and your characters will die. Luckily, 
you um, the first the first time you play through it, it will give you some instant instant raises and stuff, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend picking this game up, guys. Um, there is the first dungeon walkthrough. Um, I'm gonna try to get the others up pretty soon. Uh, hope y'all enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, Tiberius Cornwall the Third. Later.